what's up good people welcome back to my channel today i'm getting a pedicure at a black owned location in owings mills baltimore maryland now there's three things i can't talk to y'all about one on wednesdays there are deals on pedicures for 45 dollars including a gel polish my pedicure was a well overdue y'all i'm talking like six months probably like a year i don't even know but the second thing I want to talk to you about was self-love, self-care, whatever that means to you. You got to go out there and do it. Whether that's getting a pedicure, whether it's finding a deal on a Groupon, there are plenty of ideas you can Google or look up on Instagram or TikTok. That will tickle your fancy, I'm sure. Like whatever interest you have, fishing, swimming, whatever your interest is, I'm pretty sure there's something out there that you can make a hobby or do something that has to do with self-love. Now, for the past two years, I've been very intentional about what this looks like for me. I started taking myself on dates regularly, really like once a week, but it became an everyday thing when I lived in New Orleans um, where I was going to go get either pastries or um, taking myself out to the movies. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. I even came to the point in my life where I went to concerts by myself and comedy shows. Like, it was very rewarding to just sit with myself and be with me. Of course, grab a little cocktail or whatever that, that I like and just enjoying my own company. It allowed me to figure out what I do and don't like, what made me smile, and what brings me joy in this world. The third thing is luxury. We all deserve it. We all need it. Whether it's getting a pedicure, but the flower petals are put into the water, or you're intentionally going to a spa, or simply buying those white face towels, or living like Jackie Ina, you deserve luxury, so make it happen this week. Let me know in the comments what you just had to do. Y'all, I feel like a brand new woman now that I just got this pedicure. They hooked me up in here. I feel like I was at the spa. Now it's time to get something to eat because I am starving i haven't even eaten today but we're about to go smart something now The street was the Hue Cafe and it gathered me. <laughs> On one side they had the teas, the vitamins, the oils, the sage, the body products. And on the other side was the cafe where you can order any plant-based meal on their menu. For my drink I ended up eating a rose latte that was iced. It has rose hips, rose and cinnamon. I think I would have preferred the Lady Hibiscus tea has hibiscus flour infused with pineapple, apples, and lemongrass. That just screams refreshing to me. This one just didn't hit. I love that they gave out samples. Just know I'm coming back for the steak. I got the savory greens, a mixture of collard, kale, and mustard greens, slow cooked until tender. And were they tender? I also got the cauliflower wings, the hue wings. This flavor was brown sugar buffalo. It was really good and crunchy. They were really big. I prefer my cauliflower wings a little bit smaller, but they didn't have that mushy texture like some places have. This is me watching a Jamie Foxx and Michael B. Jordan GQ interview. But back to the food. I took down these samples, y'all. Y'all saw that full spread I had, right? Well, sis came over with like five sample cups and I was like, yes, please give them to me. Included the black garlic mac, the savory greens, their steak, which ultimately hit the most. I didn't try any desserts, but they do have a banana pudding on the menu that has a no bake banana pudding layered with fresh banana, shortbread cookies, and indulgent pudding topped with a healthy helping of whipped no cream. Y'all know I'm coming back for that. Now, I'm going to just get into tasting this food for real, for real, after having the samples, and I want y'all to just enjoy this with me for a little bit. Y'all going to see me in here dipping this cauliflower wing twice in this sauce because it really set it off. Something about the brown sugar in the hot sauce or the buffalo sauce that really brings out the flavors of these wings. 
the flavors are really balanced really well and they had a little bit of a kick to it but I could not really taste the brown sugar. I could tell that they do season the batter and the flour for these collie wings. Last but not least, let's get into these street tacos. I came in on a Wednesday, and as y'all could see on the sign previously in the video, there was a Taco Tuesday special. Well, this carried over into Wednesday. They had two street tacos for $14, and these were pretty freaking massive. I think I could have just took one down <laughs> instead of trying all this food, and I would have been full. But these were braised, yes, braised jackfruit and mushroom tacos. The meat looked like it was some type of steak type of thing, but I knew it was jackfruit and mushrooms because they had the shape of it, but just the way it was cooked and how brown it is. They were topped with a signature huge slaw, pico de gallo, and a humid cilantro crema that was so freaking good. That green sauce on top, it was so good. I really loved the vegetables that was put on here too because all the flavor was popping out. It wasn't too vinegary and I feel like it all paired very nicely together. That food was so good. Oh my God. That food was so good, I already can't wait to come back. Like, I got leftovers for tomorrow and probably what I'm going to eat later on tonight. All I gotta say is that that food was divine. <laughs> I'm back in a car and I think I'm about to go to like Target or something just to see if they had this black owned um, ice cream that I've been looking for. Well, I haven't been looking for it, but in my mind I've been looking for it. But I think it's a good time to look now that I'm 30 minutes away from home in another area where I haven't looked before. So let's see if I'll find it. I am in here trying to figure out sizes. Sizes for these kids. So they could be swagged out with the blacklist. I'm already in here picking up stuff I don't need on that whole Target tip. Y'all know, you going for one item and you just pick up a bunch of them. Here I am in here trying to find some shit. And I am picking up stuff I don't need. <laughs> The girl. Literally my go-to products right here. Great for 4C hair. Like this is the this is a holy grail. Moment of truth. Do they have it? I don't see it. So I was looking for the cream delicious ice cream that was coming to Target. They didn't have it, but this is a second great choice if you're looking for ice cream. And then Jerry's partnered with black brands like Black and Bold to create this ice cream. It tastes so good. Of course I had to make one more hit stop for the night. <laughs> As if I haven't been out all day. Paris Peter. This is what I came for. Oh, Donuts, really. For the vlog. On Instagram, make sure you're following. No lie, this is really where I would go to in a store when I was younger in college. And just <laughs> what I drew about now. Like, this stuff just comes to my mind. I just crazy. 
I am home from Target and I wanted to show you all what I got. I got some curls for days. I never use this one, it's Taraji P. Henson's brand. I got some chapstick because my lips stay dry. Oh my gosh, those are my keys right there. I got a diffuser. I've been really wanting one of these since the Christmas time, the holiday time, seeing them in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I'm like, dang, I need to get one. It was only $15, so I had to like see how it works. I'll definitely like show y'all how that works probably in my next video. I got the sleep time oil, essential oil, because my sleep schedule is just off and now I'm really trying to get it better. And I got this t-shirt for my niece from the Black History Month collection. I'm super excited for her to wear this, you know, represent our ancestors, our people, the people who have paved ways, have done so many things for the black community in the world, both globally and in the United States. And you know, we gotta show our children what that's about. So here we are with this t-shirt. So the really cool thing about the Black History Month collection at Target is that it's black creators, designers, artists, HBCU student, HBCU students, college students, and in there now, they should be in all different targets. It might depend on the community that you live in. Um, I feel like if it's more black people, depend on demographics, you might see more of it. On uh, a more expanded version, the one I went to tonight didn't have that much stuff, um, either because it sold out or it just, may not ser be thinking that they're serving that many black people. I don't know. So the shirt, 20% of the fiber in the t-shirt is coming from black farmers who are fourth and fifth generation um, black farmers in Alabama. And I think that's super duper cool because if you, you know the history of slavery in the United States and other countries, like, but here specifically, black people were enslaved and picking cotton for these white people. So I think it's just such an empowering thing that these farmers are farming cotton and putting in t-shirts and then I'm spending my black dollars on it. Like it's powerful and that my niece Aja is gonna be wearing it. So I'm super excited to have made that purchase. Um, I spent $50 at Target on all this shit. And <laughs> I, I went in there for one thing and that was so much more, but I'm okay with it. And I'm glad that I bought that t-shirt and all the other things too. And I can't wait to look online for more stuff because I feel like I want some stuff for me. Um, so I can walk around um, with some black ass dope shit on. That's what I'm about. And that's what I like to wear. One thing that you'll see is a continued emphasis amplifying of black businesses, local businesses, BIPOC businesses in general, women owned. I really am here to, of course, try all the different food. Of course, to shop around and spend my money. But it's the more important thing and the reason why I'm here is so that you all can see some of the cool ass dope stuff that's out there, whether it's food, clothing, products, no matter what it is, like I wanna show you all and just elevate it a little bit more and really, you know, I'm a regular, regular person spending my money, none of this stuff is sponsored, but I just wanna share with you all of like what's out there like this is a brand by one of my friends cream um and i'm gonna drop it in the description box and that's something you all will continue to see and i'm excited that you're here with me thanks for tuning in today like i hope you enjoyed this video give it a like thumbs up comment share with your friends your family until next time can't wait to have a day in life with you all again peace Tonight we're saying cheers to three years of Go Girl.